Hi, right, John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today we're going to go over, maybe a little lengthy here, but we're going to go over this new addition to our inventory. This is a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro convertible. Just not any Camaro convertible though. This thing is a full-blown custom pro touring car here. So we're going to try to go around this car every ounce of it that I can. Uh, hopefully I don't miss anything, but again, if I do, uh, just know that everything will be listed out in the description on our website and in all of our ads. So, starting first with the paint here, obviously. This paint is a Corvette Jetstream Blue exterior paint. This paint is very, very nice the whole way around. Nice, smooth, shiny. It's been blocked, buffed, polished. This car looks great as we see it sitting here. Um, almost every ounce of this car there's been something done to it so no longer a stock Camaro it's uh, it's it's been quite modified so let's start with the hood here now of course we're seeing it from the side profile right now as we work our way around to the front you'll see more of it but you've got a custom hood here you've got this custom scoop I would imagine it probably had started off life as a two-inch Cal induction hood they've made the custom modifications here to the front of the hood they've put these billet inserts in for it of course they've carried the lines of it down into the header panel here so again they've done very nice work of everything here and again this is just a small sample of what we're going to see with this car again they've painted the bumpers on it the blue to match everything as we come back i'm just going to kind of stop every ounce of the way here and go over these things as i see them so we've got our wheels here now again these are the fronts 19 inch wheels i believe 19 by eights um, these wheels are a three-piece uh, aluminum wheel obviously you see very highly polished there the tires on this uh, very low profile as you can see again size wise I don't want to really bore you with that I will go over that in the underside video but again I just want to point out sizes of wheels that way you get an idea of what this car is sitting on so like I said 19 eighths up here as far as the front wheels now there's lots of open area in those wheels so that you can look in and see the four wheel disc brakes on this car now it is a manual brake car but it's four wheel discs 15 inch rotors drilled and slotted and then these are six piston bare calipers all four corners so this car is going to stop like none other out there uh, as we come back a little further here our windshield here's another little custom touch they did with this car no longer is this windshield set back in and recessed like it normally would it's been brought out and flush mounted with the rest of the panels your a pillars and your roof line you can see it is all molded right in there and flush with everything as far as your mirrors again you can tell these are custom mirrors um, got your turn signals uh, right there in there uh, so again a lot smaller mirror than what you're typically used to on a 69 camaro but they match very well with this car and go very well with the rest of the theme. As far as your uh, body panel fitment and alignment, you can see your gaps on the doors here. Very nice on these gaps, very uniform front to back. Body lines all match up. Elevations are dead on with your front fenders and your quarter panel. So there is nothing to really pick apart here on this car. You've got these flush mount door handles Again, you might have seen these being used on a lot of your more popular shows now that do custom builds. You just push on the backside, it pulls that door handle out for you to go ahead and get in the car. While we have it pulled out, we might as well go to the interior here real quick. You'll look inside, all full custom interior. Tan bucket seats up front, tan seats in the rear. Your custom door panels that are all molded around. Um, you've got the custom dash there to everything designed to match. Um, you've got custom dash and that is all auto meter cobalt gauges. So you have a whole array of cobalt auto meter gauges in there, all of which are functioning. It's an I did it steering column, tilt column with the billet steering wheel and the black half wrap wheel on that. Of course, you can see the custom center console there housing the six speed shifter for the T56 six speed manual transmission that's in there. 
power windows, power door locks. Again, fully adjustable seats in here. All seat belts are present. So again, that is your interior. Um, billet dash knobs, billet knob for your door, uh, for your glove box door. Uh, again, no expense has been spared on this particular car. Uh, door seals and weather stripping. Your seals here for your quarter windows, those are in great condition. You've got your seals on your door. No rips, tears at all on this car, nor should there be for the amount of money that's been invested in this car. Everything is in great condition. You even have the little rubber bump stops included on this car. Uh, we'll close the door up. Close is nice. Again, you see those gaps and elevations. All, when it's shut properly, they all match up. You've got your custom tan convertible top. It is a power top too, so no problems there. Again, it reclines, retracts, comes back up, so you're going to be able to enjoy that convertible function too on this car. As we come back to the rear here, rear wheels, as you can see, considerably bigger than what the front ones are. These are 20 by 12 inch wheels on the rear. So again, that makes this have to have a mini tub on the back. We'll show you how well of a job they did on that when we get to the underside video. As we come back, of course, everything's been kind of going over here. You see there's no longer any uh, side marker lights uh, in the quarter panels nor in the front fenders. They've shaved all that stuff, smoothed it all over. You come back here to the rear of the car. Again, more modification. So you've got your trunk lid here. You can see you don't have the typical rear spoiler. You've got this molded in lip here along the whole edge of the trunk. It also goes right over onto those quarter panels to match everything up. Of course, you can see the rear uh, window back here in the convertible top. Obviously, in a convertible top, you've got the plastic back here. But as you can see, it has not been left in the down position very much at all because again you would get those wrinkles and the waviness back there which this does not have. As far as your tail lights you can see those are custom too. And again nothing stock on this car so your lenses are in great great condition. The bezels again in great condition. Um, as far as your rear bumper and lower balance all custom. You obviously you're going to notice the exhaust outlets back here. These are all custom too with the exhaust poking through the rear lower balance and that are that's essentially your tips right there. Custom molded and they look great on this car. Now uh, I am going to go ahead and pop the trunk. No longer utilizes a key to do so. There is a button underneath our dash on the driver's side. And we push it and that will pop it. So it's got an electric popper on it. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Now as you can see, again, full custom back here. You've got that same Corvette jet blue uh, exterior back here, jet stream blue. Looks great underneath here. You've got the polished billet aluminum uh, trunk hinges back here. Of course, your weather stripping here and trunk seals. You can see they've done the body work to it and they've recessed that too, so it fits very, very nice also. Inside, all custom again. You've got full upholstered panels back here in the trunk. Obviously, you can see we've got the subs back here and you've got the amp that is located in the floor as well. That is your trunk. So we'll close that up. Okay. That closes very nice and easy too. Then around to the passenger side again. All panels as you look down the side of the car, super smooth the whole way down, super straight the whole way down. As we come over here to the passenger side again, you're just going to be seeing more of the same stuff. You'll be able to see the gaps here and the elevations on the passenger side door, matching mirror on the passenger side. Of course, all the side glass here, uh, door glass and the quarter window glass all tinted. So again, we're going to go ahead and open up that door and go inside now and look at it from the passenger side. Again, you're just going to kind of fully check out the interior. No rips or tears in any of the upholstery. No cracks, obviously, in the dash panel. Um, everything is just in really good shape. One other thing, when we get to opening the hood up, just remember the hood latch itself is going to be right under the center 
of the glove box there. So when we get to that hood, uh, we're going to go ahead and open it. You're just going to pull the handle, leave it in the straight out position. That's going to release the hinge, and then we can go ahead and open the hood. But we'll close this for right now, and we'll finish our way around the car to the front end. So as we get to the front end of our 69 here, again, they've done a custom billet grill here in the front. It's got the RS uh, front hideaway headlights on it. Again, a very popular look for these cars. The painted bumper up front here too to match the rest of the car. Your lower balance there too with again your parking lights uh, down below which again lenses and so forth all in really good shape. Now, it does have the posts for your windshield wipers but again a car like this is kind of a, it's a show car really it is. Um, you're really not going to be taking it out in the rain too much. So they did away with the wiper arms just to give it that nice clean look. Put the covers on there to complete it. So there you have um, your, you know, the whole front end of the car now. So again, as I mentioned before, this hood, now you can better see the, the work that's been put into this hood. All the cutting, all the piecing, all of the great body work that was done here and the great uh, you know, customization that they have done with this particular vehicle. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open this hood up now and then we can discuss what's in here for a drive line for motor transmission and for rear end. Okay, so with that, should be able to lift right up on there and there we go. Now again, this is a full steel hood. No fiberglass here at all as far as the hood itself goes. You can see the, uh, uh, the bracing underneath there. That all looks great. Again, painted the same color as the rest of the car. Matter of fact, the whole entire engine compartment all painted that Corvette Jetstream blue paint. The same thing that's done on the exterior of the car. Now, before we actually get to the motor here and what we see there, of course, there's quite a bit to go over there. Um, we've got the billet um, hood uh, braces here, fender braces. Those are a nice touch. You've got the all aluminum radiator, electric fan there as well. You've got uh, power steering. It's power rack and pinion steering. Again, manual brakes, but there, again, you've got the Willwood um, master cylinder here. That's a real good product, of course, when uh, combined with the uh, bare brakes and the 15-inch drilled slotted rotors, you can't go wrong with a setup like that. Along with your power steering, you've got a billet power steering reservoir over here, too. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, uh, dig into the motor now. So, what we have for a motor, this is an LS1 motor. This was taken out of an 04 GTO 350 cubic inch. Up on top, though, you're going to notice you've got something different there. That is a magna charge supercharger that's on that motor. It's going to deliver, I think, around 530, I want to say maybe 532 horsepower, 525 foot pound of torque, give or take a pound or two there, um, to the rear wheels. That's not just at the motor, that's to the rear wheels. As far as your hood hinges, nice polished billet aluminum hood hinges. Of course, you can see you've got your center bolt Camaro valve covers there too. You've got a nice set of ceramic coated headers there. Dual exhaust the whole way back through. Uh, I believe it looks like a set of uh, what would be like Flowmaster style mufflers back there. And of course, as we saw, that all ends up with tailpipes that poke out through that custom rear lower balance back there. So that's basically what you see underneath this hood. Uh, again, a lot of goodies there to go over, but for the just of it, that's, that's pretty much it. Now behind this engine, we have a very good transmission too. Um, we've got the Tremec uh, T56 six-speed manual transmission. Uh, that's going to get you down the road really nice. And then as far as the rear end, um, you're going to see this from the underside video. It's a Fab 9 rear end back there. Uh, and again, all the suspension, all custom stuff here. Um, it, it's just tremendous the amount of money and time and, 
uh, you know, effort that somebody's put into this car. Um, now this car did, uh, I can't remember the exact year, I want to say I think 2011, it was featured at SEMA, May, I might be off on that, but I believe that's what it is. Uh, again, we'll have that stuff in our description. But again, this is a was a you know car that did go around some of the events you know and toured around a little bit. It's got a lot of prestige to it. Uh, this thing just tremendous. The condition it's in and the amount of work that was you know put into this, no expense spared. All right, we are now underneath this gem of a pro touring car here. This 1969 Chevrolet uh, Camaro convertible. We're going to go through the complete underside. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, put it out there right now. Forgive me if I miss something here on this car. There is an awful lot to go over here, a lot of highlights and so forth. So we're going to try to hit on everything, let you know exactly what is here. If I miss something just in the video, keep in mind that it is going to be also in the description for the car. So we're going to start up front here on this 69 Pro Street or uh, Pro Touring Camaro here. Up front, we are going to start with this whole subframe. This is a Chris Alston G Machine uh, chassis works front subframe. This thing is outstanding, as you can see, painted gray underneath here. It has all of the tubular upper and lower control arms on this car. Uh, very nice craftsmanship on everything here. It's got power rack and pinion steering here. Um, it's got like the uh, chrome uh, rack and pinion on it. All the boots are intact. They, everything looks brand new on this car up front here. Of course, your tie rods, again, those are greasable and they look to be in great shape. Ball joints on the control arms, both upper and lowers, are all in great shape. They've got nice little caps on them, and again, you can tell everything has always been maintained very well on this car. For shocks and springs, it's got adjustable QA1 front shocks on it, as well as QA1 adjustable rear shocks on it as well, which we'll see those as I get back there. Uh, again, this whole front subframe, obviously, it's the whole thing. It's it's the cross member, it's your front subframe frame rails, everything. This thing is excellent. Whenever you get to the braking system on this car, too, uh, the brakes are, are manual brakes, manual brakes, uh, but they are disc brakes, all four corners. And get this, they are all four corner bare brakes, six piston calipers, drilled, slotted, 15-inch rotors on this car. This car is going to stop like none other out there. Now the steering, like I said, it is the power rack and pinion steering though, so that is all in excellent condition there. Um, let's just keep with the suspension for right now. We're going to go switch gears, go to the rear here. So as far as the rear end, let's start with the main unit back here. This is a Fab 9 uh, rear end housing here. As far as uh, I, I don't uh, don't necessarily have a gear ratio just yet, but we will check on that and find out what that is. We'll get it in the description for the car. But again, it is a Fab 9-inch uh, rear end housing here. Now this car underneath it has been mini tub, and you'll understand why here in just a minute when I get to that. As far as the rear suspension, again, more Chris Alston stuff here. We've got the Chris Alston G-Link rear suspension. Typically it's kind of just like your metric four-link suspension back here. Much heavier duty components though. You've got these I-beam style lower control arms. You've got the tubular adjustable uh, upper control arms too. Now your lower control arms are adjustable. You can adjust uh, the height on them back here at the axle housing if you like to to fine tune things for you. But again, that's what you have for adjustability. You've got a rear sway bar here also. And again, those components are excellent condition. You can see how nice everything is there. Uh, and as I mentioned before, you've got your rear shocks. These are the QA ones and they are adjustable. I've already mentioned the disc brakes on this thing. 15 inch rotors, drilled slotted, six piston, bare calipers. Uh, now, why I mentioned mini tubs on this, this thing for rear tires and wheels on it, it's got 20 by 12 rear wheels on it. 
As far as the tire size, we've got 325, 25 ZR20. So you've got a really big tire back here uh, and a lot of uh, contact patch here. So this thing really handles the road good. Now up front here, we've got a set of 19 by eight uh, wheels up here. Now those wheels, uh, again, all same name brand. These are intro three piece wheels. Um, excellent, just aluminum wheel, nice lightweight. Now up front, we've got, uh, what do we got? 225, 35 ZR19s on the front here. Now as far as the tires themselves go, um, trying to get a name brand here. Looks like, uh, looks like on the front, just trying to find, looks like a, a Farah SU1 tire up front. And again, when you get into, these are Nexen tires. Nexen Farah SU1s. So when you get into this size of a tire, sometimes it can be hard to really get them matched up as far as tread pattern, but they did a really good draw, job as far as that matching it up. Looks really, really close to these rears, which these rears are Michelin Pilot. Uh, I wanna see what that name is. It's a Michelin Pilot Super Sport as far as those tires go on the rear. So we've already been over sizes and so forth like that. So that's it as far as the suspension goes. Again, bear with me here, a little lengthy I know, but we've got a lot to go over. As far as the drive line on this car now, that's where we have a lot more modifications. We have an LS1 350 cubic inch motor here out of an 04 GTO. It is topped off, and we'll see this when we go underneath the hood, it is topped off with a Magna supercharger on this thing. So again, that's going to pound the power to the ground through those rear axles. And I want to give you a number here. It's uh, saying about 532 horsepower, 520 foot-pound of torque to the rear wheels. Um, so that's your engine. Uh, as far as the transmission goes, we've got the Tremec T56 six-speed manual transmission. That engine, that transmission, dry as a bone underneath here. So everything is in great condition. Of course, you've got your transmission tubular cross member here that's going to hold that up nicely. Your drive shaft, balanced unit, again, eliminates your vibration in your drive line. And like I said, we've got that Fab 9 rear end back there. So that is your drive line. Exhaust system, we've got these nice ceramic coated headers here coming down into your dual exhaust back here to your rear mufflers here. Now these look to be a uh, Flowmaster style muffler. They could very well be Flowmaster. I just can't see because they've got them flipped around. I can't see a name on them. And then of course we've got the tailpipes up over top of the rear housing. And then they actually come back and poke through the lower balance on this car with a custom set of tips back there that make everything look like it was made that way. Like I said, this car is completely custom. Now again, it is a convertible, so you notice a lot more of the bracing underneath the floors. Obviously, you notice the painted floors on this car. And again, absolutely no patching, no replacement panels here. Uh, this thing is excellent. You could eat off of the floor on this thing. Fuel lines, all done in the stainless braided lines all the way back. You've got the electric fuel pump back there, a stainless steel gas tank back here from Rick's Tanks. Um, so that's a nice addition to the car too. All lines plumb nice and neat. All of your brake lines also run along the side there, the pinch weld there. And all of those lines are wrapped up in that spiral wrapping so that it helps prevent any kind of kinking and tight bend areas. There's proportioning valves for the brake system in here too. So you can set those however you want to set those. Sway bar up front as well as on the rear. This car is going to handle like a dream, steer like a dream, and it's going to brake like a dream. And again, this thing looks fantastic. So what we're going to do now, hopefully I've covered just about everything I can underneath here. We're going to get this down off of the lift now, go underneath the hood, fire that motor up. That way you get to hear what that supercharged LS1 sounds like, and you get to hear what it uh, sounds like with those exhaust poking through that rear balance like they do.